And we're back here. Um, so we're going to be talking about what is perimeter, what is area. So for me, perimeter, it's the distance around an object. And you use addition to find the total. That's that for me. That's what that's what perimeter is. For area, I would say the amount of space inside an object, or how big a space is inside an object. You find the total by multiplying the length times the width. So you can pause that, just kind of look at those two definitions of what, what I am, check them against yours. And okay, so for today, we are going to be solving real world perimeter and area problems. So what's, we're just like any good reader, good mathematician, um, you can read this with me, the black bold, solve. Circle whether you need to find a perimeter, an area, or an unknown sign length. Draw a figure to represent each situation. So you're gonna be showing some proof work today, and you're gonna be, um, uh, sol you're gonna be solving it, you're gonna be showing proof work, and you're gonna be circling what kind of problem it is. So I'm gonna show you uh, a few examples on this, but you're gonna to see today that it is a, basically it is a number of these kinds of problems today. Um, it's gonna to be a lot, some really good practice, but for each sheet, because you're gonna have four sheets, um, I'm gonna show you and kind of just walk through some of my steps. So, number one, the dimensions of a rectangular picture frame are nine inches and six inches. What is the greatest size that would fit in, what is the greatest size picture that would fit in the frame? Okay, so a picture frame is nine inches by six inches. Well, so I'm just gonna start by drawing my picture. This is really what I recommend for all of you to start with. Start with your picture for your proof. Okay, so it's nine inches by six inches. What is the greatest size picture that would fit inside of there? So you should be thinking, okay, now is it asking me how, how far it is around the picture? Am I missing a side length? Or am I trying to figure out what's on the inside? Well, it's trying to tell me what would fit, what, what's the greatest size picture that would fit in the frame? So I'm really focusing on that question sentence. What's the greatest size picture that would fit in the frame? Oh, well that's an area problem then. Because I'm trying to fit what fits inside. Oh, an area, well I know that is just length times width. So nine times six equals 54 square inches. So I should have done some underline in there too, nine inches and six inches. Just getting those important parts. Because I was trying to find the inside, so it's just uh, length and width, just like we've been doing in our last lessons. Okay, then we're going to number two. Number two, a garden has the shape of a hexagon. Okay, so right away, I'm just going to I'm going to underline that hexagon. Each side of the garden, ooh, each side is five feet long. How much fence is needed? So I'm going to underline my question sentence. How much fence is needed to go around the garden? So I'm trying to think. It's not asking how much is the inside. It told me each side is five feet, so I'm not missing any sides. I want to know how much around. So in my head, I'm already thinking around. What does around mean? I'm going to draw my picture here. Hexagon. Well, kind of gave it away, but hex. That X is in there for six. Oh, this is a perimeter problem then. And it says each side is five. Okay, five, 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 five. And I can just count by fives or I could add them all up. Whatever is best for you. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the perimeter is 30 feet. Now I'm gonna skip number three. 
because that's one we've already kind of worked on and done. No, that is not going to come with me. There we go. I might just get to number four, though. Mr. Schmidt is installing 32 cubbies in the hallway. Okay. Hmm. He puts eight cubbies in each row. How many rows? Um, I should, maybe we should underline in here. So 32 cubbies in the hallway. He puts eight cubbies in each row. How many rows of cubbies can he make? Ooh, to me, when I'm thinking about that, so I'm going to draw my picture. Oh, draw my picture. Well, he has 32 cubbies in the whole thing. He's going to put eight cubbies in each row. So I put eight there. I don't know. But how many rows? Why don't I know how many rows there are? It's like I could do this. And split this into eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like there's eight. There's gonna be there's eight cubbies in each row, but I don't know. How, like, do I have three rows? I don't know how many rows to make. Oh, and look at since I don't know how many rows there are, this is a missing side length problem. So I can do this either way. I can do this, and and this is trying to figure out like how many each goes on the inside again. That's an area problem. So I'm going to use multiplication. 8 times blank equals 32. Or I can do 32 divided by 8 equals blank. Then I just have to think about my facts. What number equals, oh yeah, 8 times 4. And 32 divided by 8 equals 4. So how many rows? 4 rows. No, I know I just gave you three. Oh, I know I just gave you three problems out of the four. But I'm going to have you go back. I want you to go do number three by yourself. But I'm still going to read it to you first. The length. Oh, I got that right now. There we go. Here we go. So for number three. The length of a water slide is nine yards. The slide is two yards wide. How much of the surface of the slide must be covered with water. So the length of the water slide is nine yards. The slide is two yards wide. How much of the surface of the slide must be covered with water? So it's not talking about the, so one thing you should always think about, if it's perimeter, it's talking about the outside. If it's area, it's talking about the inside of something. So I definitely am gonna make sure I'm gonna draw my rectangle. So is it talking about like outside? Is it talking about how much water goes on the inside? Or is it missing a side length? Hmm. So I want you to think about that one. Come back and check, and I'll talk you through that problem.